Welcome to the newest installment of the Methods in Enzymology webcast series. Today you'll hear about the new non-natural amino acids volume, edited by Tom Muir and John Abelson. This volume offers a snapshot of the major developments in this area and highlights both the chemistry-driven techniques that have been devised, as well as the type of problems in protein biochemistry to which they are now applied. There are 20 different amino acids, uh, and uh, uh, that's what we seem to be stuck with. But uh, uh, if you're kind of an organic chemist, you say, well, I'd like to go beyond that. I'd like to have a different side group than glutamine or uh, glutamic acid. Uh, 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 so uh, how do you do this, and um, why might you do it? Uh, well, one way you could, of course, do it is to synthesize the protein. Uh, and uh, synthesis of proteins has gone a long, long ways, but uh, when it comes down to it, there really is no way, a synthetic way, for example, of putting an interesting uh, uh, side group into a, an ion channel and, uh, and asking what this does uh, to ions as they are uh, pumped through that channel. So um, in this technique, you uh, arrange to charge amino acids with a non-natural amino acid. And uh, uh, often that involves either making the uh, protein in vitro, as you can do with ion channels, and uh, engineering a, uh, an, a transfer RNA that recognizes a stop codon so that uh, uh, you can put that codon where you want, let's say in the middle of the channel, and then isolate that uh, uh, tRNA with uh, a non-natural amino acid. Uh, you can even, in cases, evolve uh, a uh, tRNA, uh, uh, amino acyl tRNA synthetase pair, such that the amino acyl tRNA synthetase in vivo will uh, uh, recognize a non-natural amino acid and put it in. So this is really sort of organic chemistry, but done uh, with tRNA and amino acyl tRNA synthetases. With chapters on topics such as protein phosphorylation by semi-synthesis and semi-synthesis of membrane-attached prion proteins, this volume provides a snapshot of the major developments and highlights both the chemistry-driven techniques that have been devised, as well as the type of problems in protein biochemistry to which they are now applied. Many people uh, asking specific, rather biophysical questions about uh, enzyme structure will be excited about this, I think. Many great authors lent their expertise to this volume, and we sincerely thank them, along with the editors, Tom Muir and John Abelson. To learn more about these volumes, read sample chapters, and view webcasts, visit us online at elsevierdirect.com. <music>